Hi, let's talk about some factors that can impact the dissolving process. Now notice the title that I put here, factors that affect the salvation process. You recall that salvation just means dissolving. That's the solute, the item that's being dissolved, going into the solvent, that's the substance that does the dissolving. Um, so three factors that can impact the dissolving, the solvation process. Number one, temperature. Temperature is huge. I want you to visualize this with me because it's very, very intuitive. Let's imagine that you have a packet of hot chocolate um, and you're thinking, what's the fastest way I can dissolve this? Well, you could either get water from a hot tea kettle, you know, have it whistle and boil on the stove, um, or you could get tap water, hot, but tap water. Um, which one is going to dissolve that hot chocolate quicker? You know it's going to be the boiling water, temperature. Um, so temperature definitely impacts the dissolving process. Um, the next one is agitation. And I wanna put this in parentheses. What you and I will use in the vernacular is stirring. Um, very rarely um, would we take hot chocolate, dump it in a, a mug, and then pour hot water on it and just let it sit. Maybe if somebody came to the door or we got a phone call and it lets, you know, it sat for 10 minutes and we come back, most of it would be dissolved. But even with that, we'd still have to stir it a little bit. So stirring definitely impacts that salvation process that the solute and the solvent need to intermix and mingle um, so that they can, the solute can dissolve inside the solution, or excuse me, inside the solvent to make the solution. Um, lastly, surface area. Um, I don't know if you've ever bought um, the Mexican hot chocolate, it's called abuelas or abuelitas. Sorry, my Spanish speakers, if I didn't say that well. Um, Mexican hot chocolate, oh, so yummy with the cinnamon. Um, it takes a long time to make though. Four cups of milk in this chunk of hot chocolate and you stir and stir and stir and stir. Here's the reason why. It dissolves one layer at a time. It dissolves a layer, then it can dissolve a layer. Now in contrast, when you have those little Swiss mix packages, um, you have all these tiny little granules. I'm sure they're not good for you. Anyway, all these tiny little granules, and that means that um, you can have interaction with a greater surface area. Um, if you think about that abuelitas chunk of chocolate, everything that's in the middle doesn't get to dissolve until it touches the solution. Um, whereas with a package of Swiss Miss, wow, you have all these tiny particles that are touching and interacting with the solvent to create this solution. So if you increase the surface area, it's greatly going to impact the rate at which you dissolve. So three things, three items that impact the dissolving process, temperature, agitation, surface area. If you have more questions on the salvation process, solutions, look at the playlist solutions on the Lean Think channel, um, or you can go to leanthink.org. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.